welcome to this 10 minute after run stretch. Let's start at the top of the mat, bringing the feet hip distance apart or a little bit wider and folding forward here, generously bending the knees. So keep the knees bent and then grab opposite elbows and start to rock from side to side, starting to stretch into the backsides of the legs, into the hamstrings. Maybe you want to straighten one leg at a time. And let's release the grip of the arms and place the left palm down into the mat, bending the left knee deeply and reaching the right arm up towards the ceiling, making a fist with the right hand and rotating one way and the other into the wrist. And to go a little deeper into this twist, you can bring the right hand behind your spine towards the inner left thigh, opening the chest, so draw the right shoulder back, one more breath, and exhale to release and switch sides, bring the right palm down, bend the right knee super deep and then reach the left arm up, opening the chest, making a fist with the left hand and rotating one way and switching it out. And then maybe going deeper into the twist, so bring the left hand behind your spine towards the inner right thigh, opening the chest, drawing the right shoulder back, inhale in, and exhale to release, and then heel toe your feet together so that the balls of the feet touch, and let's find a halfway lift by sliding the hands all the way up towards the thighs, finding length in your spine. If your hamstrings are a bit more open, you can also keep your hands on your shins or down in the mat. Inhale and exhale. Plant your palms and step the left foot all the way back, lowering the left knee down into the mat. Untuck your toes. If there's any pain or discomfort in the left knee, you can double up your mat or maybe bring a pillow or towel or something underneath the knee. And then make sure that the right knee is on top of the right ankle and that the hips are squared. So right hip back, left hip forward. And with the next inhale, reaching the arms up for Anjaniyasana. Exhale, find your half split, half Hanumanasana, straightening the right leg, sending the hips back. And inhale to re-bend the right knee, reaching the arms up, Anjaniyasana. Exhale, half split, straighten the right leg, flex the right foot. Inhale to rise up, reach your arms up. Exhale, sending the hips back, fingertips into the mat. One last time to reach the arms up. And with the exhale, plant the palms down into the mat and start to heel toe the right foot to the right side of the mat, bringing the right hand to the inside of the foot. And then lift the left knee of the mat, coming high onto the left toes and start to shift forwards and backwards on the left foot starting to ease into the left hip flexor, the quad muscle. And let's lower the knee back down and then reaching the right arm all the way up and back. Maybe bending into the left knee and getting hold of the left foot. If you cannot reach the foot just yet, then keep drawing the heel in with the strength of the left hamstring. If you can reach the foot with your hand, then start to kick the foot into your hand, opening the right shoulder and with the exhale drawing the heel towards the butt cheek. Inhale to kick, exhale to bring the heel in, last time inhale kick and exhale heel in and holding it here, softening the left hip down, giving yourself a nice quad stretch. One more breath. And with the exhale, slowly letting go of the foot, bringing the right palm down, heel toe the right foot back to the center of the mat, tuck the left toes and step the right foot back to the left, coming to a downward facing dog. And right away, finding a little bit of movement here so you can bend your knees, move your hips from side to side. Down dog is also a really deep stretch for the hamstring, so just feel it out and finding stillness whenever you like, drawing the heels towards the mat. And there is no need to keep the legs straight. You can also keep a slight bend in your knees if that helps you to find more length in the spine. Let's stay one more breath here. 
and with the exhale start to tiptoe your way to the front of the mat returning to our forward fold with the feet hip distance apart or a little bit wider and this time interlacing the hands behind the spine bringing the palms to touch and folding over the legs maybe bringing the stomach to the thighs forehead to the shins softly rocking from side to side and slowly release the grip of your hands and start to heel toe your feet back together balls of the feet to touch and inhale find your halfway lift lengthening the spine exhale to fold bring the palms down and let's step the right foot all the way back lowering the right knee down into the mat untuck your right toes again taking a moment to make sure that there is no pain in the right knee you can always double up your mat and then square off your hips so sometimes what happens is that the right hip draws back and the hips open instead we want to keep the right hip drawing forward left hip back and inhale reaching the arms up for our anjanyasana with the exhale shift your hips back find your half split and moving a bit back and forth again inhale reaching up anjanyasana open your chest and exhale half split flex the left toes inhale to reach exhale to shift back and now let's bring the hands down heel toe the left foot to the left side of the mat hands underneath the shoulders on the inside of the left foot lift the right knee off the mat and start to shift forwards and backwards on the right toes and then we're gonna lower the right knee into the mat and reach the left arm all the way back towards the right foot maybe bending into the right knee and getting hold of the foot or keeping the heel drawing in with the inhale kick the foot into your hand with the exhale draw your heel towards the butt cheek inhale to kick exhale to draw the heel in last time inhale to kick and exhale draw the heel in holding it there stretching into the right quad the hip flexor and slowly releasing the foot back down heel toe the left foot back to the center of your mat and then step the left foot back into our downward facing dog lifting the hips up high and from here let's lower the knees all the way down into the mat shifting the legs to the sides coming onto our sit bones and extending the legs long in front removing any fleshy bits from underneath the sit bones to set up for our Pashimottanasana, our forward fold but instead of rounding the spine and holding onto the feet like this like a lot of people tend to do we want to start in a different way we want to bend the knees as much as you need to bring the stomach onto the thighs and then hold on to your big toes with the peace fingers and try to keep that connection with the stomach on the thighs and maybe you have a bit more flexibility in the legs then you can start to straighten the legs and still keeping the upper body melted onto your legs bringing the forehead all the way down onto your shins and staying here in our forward fold deep stretch for the hamstrings the whole back sides of the legs it's the last pose that we're gonna do let's find a last full breath in and full breath out slowly lifting yourself back up and you can just find a cross-legged seat we're done with our after run stretch i hope you feel great i thank you so so much for practicing with me and i hope i'll see you soon again and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can stay always up to date with all the new videos and yeah i can't wait to practice with you soon again bye bye